then hopefully go fibre to the home. Do you miss it out because once people are on fibre, they don't want anything better? Or... I mean, you've got to do the two things. You've got to get the services out into the communities by the, the back door. But then a lot of people aren't going to bother with this and, and, and find them digging this out. Um, and, but wireless from that point um, is a perfectly sensible way of doing it. Yeah. But do you think, like, <laughs> <laughs> these guys have a little bit of an issue, right? How far are you? 19 kilometres or something? Yeah, from the, from the exchange, but yes. But they're back end of nowhere... Right on the top of those hills over there, and even getting wireless to is hard work. Well, the problem with the, the wireless, of course, it's line of sight. And Louise has exactly the same problem in Fontburn. Fontburn, you've got a reservoir in the middle, that's great, and then you've got a bloody great big hill, hmm. and half the village is on the other side of that, hmm. so there they're going to have to put fibre around. Well, reservoirs are horrendous for wireless. Are they really? Yeah, water oh, and wireless do not mix at all. Nice. Yeah, 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 and it goes off yeah. and yeah. does its own thing. So but you think I've got it all lined up, and then it goes on, and I'm not, I'm not, I don't yeah. want to get my feet. There used to be a major link that went across the Humber, and it used to get cut off at high tide. <laughs> I didn't major link across the Humber. What a wide link! That scum thought. <laughs> so you know, but but for me, the issue is, say in a village like this, where you've got to get your numbers. Home. If you wean people towards fibre to the home by giving them fibre, loads of people are going, like, whoa, this is a load of that. Another thing I've had is you get this and you lose your business going to fibre to your home. And ah, you can end up you, no, potentially. You do that anyway. That's, that's what my argument with sort of Barry Ford um, said that you've got to get the fibre in and there's no sort of hollowing out. If you put in, try to put in a fibre network that occupies you know, sort of a big area and you don't make that accessible to the ISPs and give the, the right services to the people in it, then the ISPs will say, okay, there's a big market now. They've all been sort of cheed up to the idea of wanting high-speed broadband, so there's a bit there that's actually commercially viable. And I'm going to do them, whether you want them to or not. And they will follow that out after the fact if you don't allow them to. So, yeah, but open access is fine, yeah. surely. Everything's well, got the Yeah, and, but then, I mean, you get Digital Region. They said that they're an open network, but they weren't properly open yeah. because they didn't actually bring the ISPs to the customers and vice versa. And if you don't do that, yeah, you can say it's technically open network, but if it's not actually practically open with proper wholesale access to the ISPs that are there to use it, it doesn't count, unfortunately. I mean, There's only one like, network. For me, that, on the back of this house here, which is Croft House, as is my house, just to really confuse issues, we've, there's a wireless antenna on the back of this, which creates a wireless network. It used to go three hops. That's the whole village. That's how big walk up is. Um, and, uh, you know, like I, I, that's the wireless cloud that needs to sit over the village because at the end of the day, when I'm walking around with my iPhone, I don't want to be doing it over the mobile network. I just want to be using my this is wireless a network. Metropolis to me. It's in my, huge. In my village, the can, everyone can just about hop onto my open zone that comes out of my house. That's how big we are. But yeah, I mean, you've got more of a problem. But, I mean, the wireless network is really important because of smart devices, etc., etc., et yes. but it needs to be fibre-fed. Now, originally yes. that was fed by something like that, which is still on the back of my house, um, and it's just not sufficient. But then behind us, we have 11 new houses who don't have a decent broadband connection. And so I'm, well, the problem was talking to the developers, they didn't understand what broadband was at all. And I've got seven new houses behind my house, they didn't understand it either. And you know, this is a whole issue as well. And people don't understand, I said to them, you will add uh, 10 to 15 grand on the value of each house. But they didn't get it. We're loading on our wellies.